New at six, a Detroit gang leader cuts his tether and runs off after his former cohorts turn on him in federal court. Seven Action News reporter Anne Marie LaFlame brings us the massive effort to catch him in this week's Detroit's Most Wanted. Right now, the U.S. Marshals Detroit Fugitive Apprehension Team is getting ready for an all hands on deck effort to catch one of Detroit's most wanted. The task force has assembled and they're going to do, they're going to turn every stone today, this week, until we find uh, Kenneth Smith. The U.S. Marshals say this man, Kenneth Smith, is the leader of the Traveling Vice Lords, a local branch of the national gang known for their brutal violence. Violence and gangs go hand in hand uh, with drugs and weapons. Um, Kenneth Smith's out there. He's running loose right now. Um, we don't know where he's at, and we, we come to you guys for your help. Smith and his fellow gang members locked up one by one after the marshals say he ordered a hit on two brothers trying to leave the Vice Lords. In May, four people were shot with an AK-47 right here on Detroit's west side. Kenneth Smith's the last one out. He goes by Kenny. Uh, six have pled guilty, one scheduled to plea. He had a tether, and sure enough, um, last week when all these guys started uh, start pleading, Ken Smith takes the coward way out, cuts his tether off and flees. Take a look at the 34 year old's tattoos. He's wanted in Oakland and Wayne County and by the feds for domestic violence, drugs, organized crime, multiple counts of assault and possession of a machine gun. We still think he's here. Investigators have fanned the streets, hit several houses, interviewed tons of people. Believed to be in Detroit with connections to Saginaw and Chicago, the marshals know you can help put this violent man back behind bars. We need this guy caught. Uh, his acts of violence, he ordered a hit, four people got shot. We need to find this guy, he needs to go to jail. Take another good look at Kenneth Lamar Smith. He's 5'7", 175 pounds, and considered armed and dangerous. The U.S. Marshals are offering a reward for information leading to his capture. You can call them 24-7 at that number on your screen. In Detroit, I'm Anne-Marie LaFlame, 7 Action News.